Um, I do find it a little bit incredulous, and you know my, you're one of my favorite uh, people, Representative, um, that your side of the aisle would act as if there was no culpability. We don't live in a kingdom. You had a supermajority. When I first came here, supermajority in the Senate, and the closest thing you passed to a balanced budget was $7 billion because your side was playing political games. And I think we're being a little bit disingenuous here as well. We are in an inflation-induced sugar high right now. And this is not something I said recently. I've been saying this for a while. While we're dancing around about the budget surplus that we have, I would note that every state that touches us has a bigger budget surplus per person than we do. It's from federal funds and inflation and some of the other things that were talked about earlier today. A couple extremes, you guys can type in Minnesota budget surplus. They're about half our size, $7.7 .7 billion budget surplus in Minnesota. Mississippi, arguably if not the poorest state in the nation, that's a quarter of our size, has a $2 billion budget surplus. So for us to sit in this chamber and act as if there were some magic pixie dust that was sprinkled throughout the way government has been run is, 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 is just a fallacy. That's not what happened. It's happening throughout the nation, and we're actually, as usual, on the low end of this. We have done very little in terms of structural change, and I want to read something that happened to pop up today from, from Reuters. This is from Bank of America, their top economist. The macroeconomic picture is deteriorating fast and could push, push the U.S. economy into recession as the Federal Reserve tightens its monetary policy to tame surging inflation. Bank of America strategist warned in a weekly research note, inflation shock, not a dissimilar term, inflation shock worsening, rate shock just beginning, recession shock coming. Bank of America chief investment strategist Michael Harnett wrote in a note to clients. We have not done anything significantly structural to change the trajectory. I am grateful for things, and I've been public about some of the things in, in, in putting more money towards pensions. But the idea, the idea of having a billion dollars of projects just for one side of the aisle instead of funding something like the Unemployment Trust Fund, which is a tax on jobs, I don't know if that's the decision that a body would make if they knew that there was potentially a hurricane that was going to hit our land. But this time, this time is not going to last. Winter's coming, and we haven't prepared in the way that we need, we need to prepare. We should be doing that. I urge you no vote.